We're here at Fan Expo, and it's my first Fan Expo, and it's Emma's first North American convention. And I'm excited. We just got in here and already she's overwhelmed. <laughs> so much stuff. Emma, or Super Lovers Rock, was used to Swedish conventions with about 9,000 people attending, and Fan Expo has over 100,000 attendees. It takes place in both the North and South buildings at the Metro Toronto Convention Center. This is the first Canadian convention I've been to with big exhibitors. It reminded me a lot of San Diego Comic Con. Nintendo was demoing Mario Odyssey and other new games, which I was asked not to show. So here's some Goombas and Splatoon. I love Splatoon. Then a Stay Puft man marched towards us. There was a booth with costumes and props from the new Thor movie that the actors actually wore and used, which is pretty cool. We saw Pokemon made out of Mega Bloks, and Emma tried her first Icy. She also got some new keychains for her Seto Kaiba Ida bag. On day two, Emma cosplayed Super Sonico and wore super padded bras, which she encouraged us to try punching which was really fun. She also had her amazing Super Sonico Ida bag. I'm so jealous. I need to start a Super Sonico Ida bag. Just as I was winding up to try punching Sonico's titties, we were asked for photos. Okay, 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 here I go. Emma's headphones drowned out sound, even with nothing playing. God, I'm embarrassing her, she can't hear me. We went to visit Jessica Negri, who immediately recognized Emma from Instagram and said that she is the best Super Sonico cosplayer. That's right, Jessica Negri said Super Lovers Rock is the best Sonico. Don't believe me? Well, I have the receipts! Okay, enough stage momming from me. Jessica also told Emma about the Sonny Kami secret ending. I highly recommend you play or check it out. It happens if you touch Sonico's headphones. Dun dun dun. What could happen? What could happen when you touch Sonico's headphones? Then they exchanged a good old fashioned boob punching. I visited Carly, who is an adorable goof. I love her. Carly and Leanna tried to teach me some evil cheerleader moves. Saturday and day three, we hung out with Ishkan, who is an amazing photographer I've been collaborating with a lot recently. Check out his stellar work if you haven't seen it. Emma continues to make faces at me. Oh look, a bear! Oh look, cool, evolutions. We went to explore more of the North Building, and on the way, we ran into Leslie and friends cosplaying Adventure Zone characters. The North Building featured the horror area with loads of spooky vendors and creepy cosplayers. There were really incredible special effects artists there, and it made me feel really inspired and also want to marathon scary movies.
There was also a tattoo booth and a booth full of taxidermy and oddities, which made me miss my friend Ashley back in California. I know she would approve. The North Building had a lot of other random vendors too, including anime. Look at this huge monster musume body pillow. Emma got a Yu-Gi-Oh surprise bag from this booth and it had a large figure in it. It's day three and we've been having a lot of fun. Emma bought some stuff. Oh yeah. And I dressed in Lolita today, but now I'm gonna go get comfy and we're gonna go possibly do some more shopping, more exploring. I wore my new Cotton Candy Feet heart bag, which was perfect as a backpack for the convention. It fit everything I needed in it. The bag can also be changed into a handbag or a crossbody bag. I was amazed how comfortable and sturdy it felt all day long. I changed into my scrump Kigurumi and went to Leslie's party at Spaghetti Factory, which was so much fun, but by Sunday I was feeling really tired. Day four, or Sunday, we explored more of the South Building and visited friends at their booths, like ALB, and then Ocean in Space, Pink City, which I haven't talked about on my channel before, but I hope to more. They're a local nerdy streetwear brand that's really cool. The owners weren't at the booth when I visited, but they are really cool dudes. We met some cool new artists, We visited Annie and Jen at Jen's booth. Saw my new friend Megan I met at Jen BeautyCon, but I didn't want to interrupt her sales. I'm hoping to do some videos with her really soon. Then we visited Molly slash Jackface, who I'm so happy lives here now. She's such a wonderful person and talented artist. Next up, we visited Tony Pony and Bath Bunny. I made sure to let everyone know Tony was selling the She Gay Dude pins. If you weren't able to attend and want one, check out Tony's shop. Bath Bunny had tons of cool pins, stickers, art, and the greatest masterpiece of all, the mascot of their booth, Waluigi. I'm thankful I got to meet and spend a lot of time with Betty and Jordan. They're both so kind and funny. I hope they visit Toronto again soon. It's the last day and we're all pretty dead. I'm really happy that I'm wearing one of Emma's Super Sonic Go shirts though. Super comfy and we're in line for Lolita Fashion Show. Nadine hosted the Southern Ontario Lolita's Fashion Show, which had a mythical theme, and each of the models coordinate told a story and portrayed different fairy tale characters and creatures. I thought this was a really creative way to debut different styles and motifs in Lolita fashion. It was so cool to see Rey in all pastel, but portraying a spooky character. Her coordinate was all made herself, featuring pieces from her brand Spooky Sparkle Party, which carries lots of sizes and dresses with pockets. <laughs> That just about wraps up Fan Expo. Thank you so much to everyone who said hi to me at Fan Expo. If you weren't able to attend the convention or live in a different area, please let me know in the comments what conventions and events you would like to see me at. 
And as always, stay lovely.